Hello everyone and welcome back to the D-Hard House. My name is Alicia and I'm your host of this crafty and gardeny channel here on YouTube. Uh, I'm out in the backyard but only for a short while to record this clip because it is very warm. A warm is relative. It has not been this warm which is why all of a sudden it feels hot and super overwhelming. <laughs> Uh, we actually got a heat advisory notice that it's going to get up to 90 degrees this weekend. It is Saturday, May 13th. I'm coming to you from the Pacific Northwest in the greater Seattle region. 90 degrees in the middle of May. Yeah. Um, so, we have one of the window air conditioning units hooked up in the house to cool things down for us and uh, I did do some chores out in the garden this morning when it was cooler as you can see it is full on sunshine now so I have stopped my chores there is of course always more that can be done out here <laughs> uh, but since springtime is such a busy time in the garden um, Things are growing quickly, changing quickly, um, pulling weeds, planting, things, just, it's changing a lot. So what I decided to do for this video was actually create a vlog where I've been taking video recordings as I've been doing things in the garden. And so, uh, I hope you enjoy.
So today is Sunday. Yesterday, we mowed the yard. And I forgot to take any video of it. It was a beautiful day, lots of sun, warm weather. Um, maybe a little too warm, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but today there's lots of clouds in the sky. So I'm gonna do a few things in the garden, but um, yeah, the grass was probably two feet tall in some places which is out of control so uh it took a while but we got there um michael mowed and i went around with the weed whacker and we got this place looking spick and span
it's a beautiful sunny day and I've got a little bit of a break in my work day so I'm spending it outside um, first I want to show you um, what I planted yesterday and I didn't take a video because I forgot so these are potatoes and I planted these uh, a couple weeks ago and they've popped up and emerged out of the ground and so I've got two three four that's a weed <laughs> uh, and so what I did is I planted a few more here as well as some on the other side of the garden uh, in, in the tomatoes so right here I sowed carrot seeds and then here and into the back I sowed more potatoes so what I'm trying to do this year is create a garden where the plants are more interspersed with each other instead of making like a section of tomatoes and a section of garlic and a section of potatoes instead kind of mixing them in together and trying that out this year and it looks like the wind is having an effect on my supports here that string is loose now but yeah I did plant potatoes yesterday
So I mowed part of the lawn on Monday. Today's Saturday. And I only got this far. And you can see the half that I didn't get to mow. And it's crazy tall. Yep. So all things considered, the garden is being very productive. The garlic is doing phenomenally. The snow peas have come up. Uh, they're putting on lots of leaves, hopefully peas soon. Uh, the onions I did manage to plant, they are hanging in there. Hopefully they'll make it through the season. Uh, tomatoes, I've started a new batch. <laughs> Uh, but potatoes, they're doing pretty well. Uh, I'm phasing them in, so there's still more to come out into the garden. Um, the kale is doing all right. Uh, carrots from last year, yes, carrots from last year are still going strong. Uh, I'm still debating, not debating, I'm just I'm going to let some of them go to seed, uh, to make flowers and go to seed. Uh, not all of them, but uh, I'm not going to harvest all of them because it'd be nice to get some seeds. Um, the compost pile is doing fantastic. Let's see, what else? Uh, peppers inside are doing amazing, so I will continue to harden them off before sowing them up sowing, planting them, transplanting them outside. Um, but yeah, it's, it's coming along and I'm really excited. So thank you for joining me for this episode. And until next time, I hope that you stay safe, stay healthy, and you enjoy your crafts and gardening, <laughs> whatever they may be. Bye.